Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you an EAFC 24 Victor Boniface uh, player review. This is a striker, 83 rated, player of the month for the Bundesliga. 6'4", uh, really, really tall, high medium on the work rates, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, right footed and mostly lengthy. So 84 pace on there, really good. 89 sprint speed, so he's got a bit of a gap there between the acceleration and sprint speed, which if you've seen my videos you know that I'm not a big fan of. Um, 84 shooting, 94 shot power, which is quite insane to be honest um, 83 finishing um, 73 passing but he has got 81 short pass which is probably the most important 79 dribbling is a little bit low with the agility and balance being quite low um, I'd be looking to put a chemistry style on that um, and then 90 head and accuracy on the defending there and then 95 strength so some really really good stats on there I definitely would be looking to increase the, the dribbling uh, probably the shooting as well in general just for that finishing um, and he can play as a centre forward as well I'm not going to show his play styles because he has none <laughs> unfortunately um, no play styles at all um, so yeah let's get straight into the actual gameplay I'm playing against a co-op guy here um, which is kind of good because sometimes their defense is a little bit off so you can actually see his finishing and stuff so you see him there up top um, he's got the blonde hair kind of stands out a bit get the ball to him and unfortunately he doesn't quite manage to put the ball in the back of the net um, on that occasion but it go, go again and uh, that probably was offside. I thought that maybe he was going to get a penalty there. Then again, I have already seen this because um, <laughs> I played it and I don't even remember how it, how it um, pans out. But never mind. We got uh, five games in with him. Um, so as I say, with all of the, uh, the reviews that I do, I do play five games and then I'll give my overall verdict um, on how I feel about the card and if he's worth doing at the end of the video. So he's uh, an 83 rated and you needed to swap an 83 rated squad to get him with one 85 rated player in there um, and one Bundesliga league up player as well so not too bad to be honest it only comes to about 12k really really not bad um, for hopefully a player that's going to be good but when you're sort of rating someone at 12k you can sort of be a little bit lenient um, but still you want to know if he's worth putting actually into your team or not his dribbling doesn't seem too good you just saw it there um, not the best at trying to get through um, but there we go what a shot that is his shot power looks absolutely phenomenal I was taken aback by how that went in I didn't think that there was any chance I don't really shoot from um, distance normally and that was on his weak foot as well I think was he left footed uh, pretty sure he was left footed so with a three star weak foot managing to get shot power like that away was really good goalkeeper had no chance he just went straight past him before he even managed to uh, to dive so really good start for him 1-0 and uh, yeah hopefully we can continue that train hopefully his finishing will um, continue I mean I don't know I think that was mainly shot power to be honest it didn't look like this shot was actually really too like in the corner or anything really good um, pace shown there I'm just trying to dribble with him a little bit there but it just was not working that the, it's just a bit sluggish which for me is quite a big uh, thing I like having whip it players that can sort of dribble really nicely that shot again it was on his weak foot I think again um, assuming that he is left footed I'm pretty sure he is um, he didn't quite manage to sort of get that anywhere away from the goalkeeper which is a shame and that could be down to his low finishing I would I'd probably say it is so at the moment I was thinking chemistry style wise um, you'd, you'd be looking to put something on that was going to increase the shooting and dribbling 100% physical you don't need to touch uh, pace you could put it on pace just to increase that acceleration his sprint speed is phenomenal um, but yeah maybe the um, the acceleration does need a bit of a boost to make him be able to sort of like because you just saw it there he, that's short I mean he's out muscled him anyway um, but his actual pace wasn't very good but he did really well there to get the assist to the assist uh, as I like to call it when uh, it's the second from last player that uh, to put the ball into the back of the net so a really really good um, show of, of strength there not the best show of pace Shaw's not the fastest and that is just purely down to the acceleration if he had an extra I don't know second or so at running he probably would have managed to get away um, but yeah he, he didn't because he couldn't quite manage to actually um, get get away from the defender which is a shame so I think if you can uh, dribbling and pace are probably the two areas and if you can uh, maybe dribbling and, and finishing depends on your play style I guess on which you would prefer personally I'd go for the pace and the dribbling to be increased strength definitely doesn't need it that seems to to be his biggie you've just seen a, a display of it there I mean it's one of the higher I think it might be the highest stat on his card along with the shot power so you know 
it's definitely not needed to be increased i'm glad that it is showing that it is actually as good as what the card said though um sometimes it feels like the strength's not quite up there that's a foul um, not quite up there with how the uh, the card suggests it's annoying that that was a foul because i feel like bonnie face was probably through there on goal um if i did manage to get the pass to him like he is here really really solid touch but again couldn't quite finish i don't know why it keeps going over to his right foot just not really clinical i feel like that's three well he's had two chances that I think he should have scored and he did score one of them um, but two chances that I feel like he probably should have put in the back of the net or at least troubled the goalkeeper a little bit better than what he has um, they, they were pretty much straight at the keeper which is uh, a bit of a shame to be honest let's see if we can get the ball up to him again um, I, I do enjoy playing co-op people I don't know why I just feel like they're defending just never seems to be up to scratch. That's a really, really good ball from him. His passing is pretty good on the card. Um, and unfortunately, I did want that to go to Boniface. I wouldn't normally do that sort of thing where it just pass it over to an empty net. Um, but I was hoping that Boniface would have put that bit into the back of the net. But unfortunately, it went over. Um, I think it was to Gomorais in the end. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that's a foul. Um, and if he should have gone down there as well. Um, and unfortunately, Boniface did manage to get the goal. But that kind of is his second goal. There we go. We finish it off there. 4 0. This guy now quits unfortunately so we got a goal for bonnie face and to be honest he did really really well for the second goal showing his strength against Shaw, and he did really well in that final goal as well he showed his strength again didn't go down where i said that he should have gone down for a penalty um, but he did not and we managed to get the goal so let's go 84 pace to for me it didn't feel like 84 and that's purely because the acceleration was so slow and it's rare that you actually manage to get him away with his sprint speed. So I'm going to bring that overall pace down to an 82. I think chemistry stars needed for pace. Shooting at 84 yeah i think that probably does feel fair because his shot power was really good um but the actual finishing was not so yeah i think that does kind of even it out so 84 feels fair 73 for the passing i'm gonna actually increase that i think his passing felt pretty good um i'll bring that up to about 76 77 um not really much of a difference to be honest but it's still it's an increase it was noticeable 79 dribbling probably feels fair unfortunately i was hoping that that dribbling would be better but it did turn quite slow and it felt a little bit sluggish Pace and dribbling is what you are needing to add, which you would kind of expect for a, a six foot four guy that's full of strength and, and size. So not surprising there. Um, defending, I'll leave as is. I mean, he's a striker. I didn't have any heading um, chances with him, but I'm sure he would have been good at headers if I did. Um, and then the physical 88, 100%. His physical felt really good. 95 strength all day long. One of the strongest players. And it was it was so noticeable that he was able to outmuscle some of the defenders. You saw it there with the Shaw. He was doing that in the other games that I played with him as well. So. I mean, overall, it's an 83 rated player for an 83 rated squad with 185. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. I think if you've got a Bundesliga team and you want kind of like a, a faster option to one of the top, top strikers, like a Kane, uh, then this is this is a guy that you want to be picking up. Um, if you prefer sort of like much, much faster, don't bother because he does feel a little bit sluggish. He's kind of in between like the Canes and then the top, top um, speedy strikers. Uh, his finishing is decent. His passing is okay. His strength is really is key um, and his dribbling definitely needs an increase with the chemistry style so overall i would do the card um, but i don't think he's probably going to be in your team for too long so hopefully you did like the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this there will be a link in the description down below full of eafc 24 player reviews as always guys thank you for watching bye bye